barbecued chicken pasta with roasted poblano and courgettes. So I'm back from Oaxaca, it was an amazing trip, and honestly, I cannot eat any more Mexican food. No more tortillas. So I'm gonna make a sauce of chili poblano and a clove of garlic. So they're gonna go in, close it up, start. It says it's broiling, five minutes. Just gonna get some water on to boil, and obviously we're gonna season the water up. Okay, let's have a look. That was a good job, lovely. I'm gonna flip it and do the other side, and the garlic as well. Now before, I would have done it on a kamal on the stove, um, the problem with that, you kind of have to be watching it and turning it and turning it in there, put it in, oh, and just let it roast away. And because I'm back feeling healthy again, vegetables going in a bit courgette. Lovely. And it's gonna go in the bowl, just so it can steam away. And then here I've got some leftover barbecue chicken I'm just gonna chop up. So for this chicken, I'm just gonna cut off chunks, small cubes. You could use um, like roast chicken as well if you want, small cubes like that. And I do love a bit of cheese in my sauce. I've got some light Philadelphia cheese here. I haven't eaten this in years. Mm. Still good. Mm. Creamy. I'm just using pasta cubes. Okay, so my chili poblano here has been sat in there for around 10 minutes, so it's softened. So it makes it a lot easier to just take that skin off. You can use a knife on the board or just use your hands and just peel it. You don't have to take it all off, just the majority. And then all we're gonna do is just pop this out to get rid of the seeds. Cut in half. And then you can just sort of scoop these seeds out here as well. And then these are ready for our sauce. So for the sauce, we're putting those chili poblanos in, the Philadelphia cheese, peel the garlic clove, and that goes in. And then we're just gonna scoop a little bit of the pasta water. And then the chilies of choice, I think, are gonna be a chili diablo. Take the top off, and that goes in. Lid on, and blend it. And it's such a nice color, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be spicy, let's see. Not at all, actually, yeah, a little bit. That is really nice. Like the poblano can be a little bit spicy and the chili diablo, but mixed with that cheese, mmm, wow. That's actually better than I thought it, thought it was gonna be. So the pasta's cooking away and I'm just gonna use this flame. Oh no, look what I've done. That's what happens when you get too motivated. Oh, and the pasta's cooking away and you go and spill your sauce. <sighs> I'm gonna heat up around a teaspoon of oil and we're gonna fry the courgette. So once the courgettes are fried and they've got some color, we're gonna add the sauce and the chicken and a little bit more of the water from the pasta and reduce it just a little bit. And then we add the strained cooked pasta and we're gonna reduce it in the sauce until we've got a desired consistency. So now the moment of truth, we must try it and then test the seasoning. Little blow because it's hot. Mmm. I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper in, but that is so tasty. So once you season the pasta to taste with salt and pepper, just mix it up and we're gonna serve it really simply, just into our bowl. And if you want to, you can sprinkle over a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And I'm telling you, for something as simple with minimal ingredients, this is so tasty. It's a little bit spicy, but Mm. And as usual, ingredients in the description box below if you do want to try this recipe out. If you want to see videos in the future, just hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.